you look down here, I can see that there's 68 best practice analyzer issues in my model. I click on that, a window pops up and talks about all of the items that I might have issues in on, right? So, hey, don't use floating point data types, right? The reason why we don't do this is it expands the size of our model and doesn't have value. Uh, there's often low, low value in doing that. For example, my weight. If your weight of your items are, if you're talking about like shipping, I don't know, some sort of like medical stuff where you, you, you measure in micrograms or something like that, maybe a floating point is very necessary. But for the most part, a lot of people, when they're, they're talking about weight, one or two decimal points is sufficient. So you say it's 1.2 pounds or 500 kilograms or whatever the heck it is, right? Um, uh, and heck, if you're using metric, maybe it doesn't even make sense to have decimals whatsoever, right? Uh, you can go ahead and you can eliminate that. Same thing's true with almost all of these. Getting rid of that can, can, can be very efficient. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna say, hey, discount amount, order quantity, unit, actually, uh, discount amount, order quantity, unit price, extended amount, discount amount, I'm gonna, all of these, I'm just gonna click on this apply fix button. That's right here, all right? I'm just gonna highlight the ones I want fixed, hit apply fix. That fix is now applied to my model. For me to now see all of this stuff inside of Power BI, all I do is I hit save on this, and then I go back to my Power BI desktop, and I can head over to my dim account.